Hey guys, uh, this is a test round for Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel and I'm just only trying to see if my voice in the laptop is actually working but I don't think it's working but anyway, I'll try to upload this to YouTube to uh, watch it from my phone so if you by any chance see this video I hope that you can help me to like this video to help me to improve the YouTube algorithm in searching for my other videos so alright and in this video, I'm going to show how, what is my approach in fighting against a Drytron deck. But first of all, I'm going to show my deck. First, I'm playing a Tri-Brigade tri deck. I'm running it with Zodiac. And yeah, the Zodiac is mainly used to summon the Zeus. And the Tri-Brigade deck is the Kid, the Nero, the Fractal, and the Karas. Yep. The boss monster here, a lot of you are this but my deck is actually a slightly budget version. I have 41 cards though. Uh, okay, let's see if it works. Uh, do this one. Mesh story. Yeah, this one. The total number of turns is 2 because he, when I stop his combo, he actually surrendered. Okay, so let's see how that will go. When fighting against Drytron, you want to make sure they don't go first. Because if they go first, they are very likely to summon the Ultimateness. Which is very trash. So I actually win the coin flipping game and I go first. And activate them tanky to search for a fractal. Send fractal to the grave shard. Then sending a kit. Kit send the wall. This basic chain. The wall you can get a for no for You can either take a, another kit or a caress to your hand. But if I go first, I usually want to set, get a Karas instead of a kit because in the next round, when I using when I use the reward, uh, I can chain another fractal to send a kit to send a normal again. So if I take a kit now, uh, it might be slightly my kit might not be enough to ch uh, do a three time combo. Yeah, so summon a Karas, not special one, just normal summon. Then do a link summon link two, which is link to a bear drum. Then link 3 with the bear drum to summon the Rugo because you want the bear drum to send to the graveyard to change uh, to search for a revolt. Sending MST back because of the skill to the revolt. Okay, to fight against Drytron, I first of all I don't actually really know what does this all alpha, beta, gamma do. The main concept that I'm looking for is to stop Ben 10 from activating. So in this case, yeah, in this case, as a Ben 10 is uh, when the man 10 is tributed, it can add one light fairy monster. And this light fairy is usually searched for the ultimateness, which is the pain that you're trying to avoid. So, uh, you can ash this, but I actually choose to DD Crow first because I want to keep my ash to stop if any other thing that is actually working. Because um, I chain DD Crow. I mean, immediately chaining to alpha because if I use DD Crow later, you wouldn't be able to stop any because when Ben 10 activated, then I chain my DD Crow, the Ben 10 would continue to the activation. So if you chain your DD Crow now to the alpha, the Ben 10 wouldn't have any point of activation. This is because Ben 10 is tri not tributed to the graveyard in this chain because. When Alpha tributed Ben 10, then I did show chain the Ben 10 to send it, banish it. It means that the Ben 10 actually was sent to the banish instead of going across the graveyard. So it is actually not tributed, so it cannot activate, activate its effect. Okay. Let's see. I actually chain the Rugo to summon a Karas from the graveyard in this position, I think. Yeah. Okay. You throw the Ben 10. I, I don't really know this skill and I don't want to see because that's too long. I'm really lazy. So a Gamma is sending another Ben 10. So this time I actually edge it to prevent something bad happen. Still have a Nibiru in case if something weird happen. But uh, Nibiru is not really useful against Ultimanus because Ultimanus can negate everything. So you get a beta. I don't even know what this do. In, in the in a successful actually someone sent a ritual monster, maybe. 
So I open my I use my re revolt to summon a shooter to banish this one so I can win next turn. So in the next turn I just summon a card link then do anything like summoning the access token I can deal 8000 damage. Kid sending a grass. Nero getting a fractal to do the next combo. The Shurek banishing the Axis. Okay, so he actually surrendered because I stopped the combo. Yeah. So the main thing you want to stop is the Ben 10. If you stop the Ben 10, they wouldn't be able to search for the Ultimus. I think that's it. That's usually it. You might also want to stop the Diviner, I think. Yeah. So the two things you want to stop is the Ben 10 to the graveyard and the Diviner. I'm not sure what does this do this skill do does. I'm very lazy, yeah. I think I'm just going to stop here. Lah. This is only a test run. I hope it her voice is not bad. And if it's okay then I'll be continuing uploading future Yu-Gi-Oh videos. So that's all. Thank you for watching.